One of the very first things that I did when I started earning, whether it was through my freelance work or through my proper job, was buying a PlayStation 4. I still consider it to be one of the best purchases of my life. Turns out, it's been two years since I bought my PS4 and I have ended up spending a lot of money on my PlayStation and my gaming habit. <laughs> but today, when I, when I got this delivered to me, it's the Batman Return to Arkham Collection, one of the games that is really close to my heart for a lot of different reasons. I realized that I have actually got quite a commendable PlayStation 4 game collection. And what better than sharing it with you guys? So let's just begin. I don't think any gaming video can start without a proper tour of the gaming setup. So here is my PlayStation 4 with the, my DualShock 4 controller which is connected to my Samsung 40 inch television. It's a 1080p television so that's fine for me. These are all the games that I'm playing currently. My audio is taken care of by the very powerful, very efficient Marshall Hoban system. And uh, let's move on to the star attraction. These are all of the games that I have for my PlayStation 4. It is exactly two years ago today that I bought my PlayStation 4. I've bought close to 20 games so far. I've ended up spending around a lakh rupees on it. Okay, when you spread them out like this, they do seem to be quite a lot of them. But we're gonna go through them slightly quickly. So the first game that I bought ever was the Mortal Kombat XL. And I love this because I've been playing Mortal Kombat for a long while. It's a beautiful game and it got me actually started into the journey. Okay, so I've showed you all of these games that I have, but how much do they cost? How do I plan all of this? So one of the best games that I own, the proudest ones in my collection are these ones. Red Dead Redemption 2, Spider-Man, the Batman Arkham series, and obviously The Witcher 3. And turns out when I look back at it, it's not actually that expensive when you figure it out month on month. So it does involve getting a one-time big purchase, which is buying the PlayStation 4. In today's rate, you can get a slim PS4 for around 28, 30,000, which is a bunch of games. The costlier PS4 Pro costs around 40, but it is only viable if you have a 4K HDR TV, which I do have at my home back in Meerut, but here in Delhi, I don't. So I can very well make do with a PS4. Now the question arises, how have I managed to buy all of these games? So my funda is very simple. I decide to buy one game every month. Why do I do it? Because I want to treat myself. Buying one game every month is not difficult on the pocket. It gets me to collect all of the favorite items that I have. And uh, it's quite fun to play a new game every month. On top of that, I also have got the PlayStation Plus subscription, which allows me to play online. So all in all, play so all in all, if you think from my mother's side, PlayStation and gaming is quite an expensive habit. But if it gives you happiness, if it is something that brings you joy, if it is something that allows you to escape the monotonous or the mundane or the hectic life that you have, gaming is quite a wonderful solution. And I hope you enjoyed my collection of PS4 games. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Uh, share it with your PS4 loving friends. Tell me down in the comments what kind of collection you have, what kind of collection you would like to have. Are you a PC gamer or are you a console gamer? And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.